press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. The sequel is even better than the first movie. Everyone should watch it. An unbelievable movie and totally international level. What's going on with? We are very happy. This movie is bringing fame to India. Although we know that we have a good product on our hand, uh, we are always tense. We don't know what what the final result will be. And uh, as the numbers came in, we are we are just ecstatic. And joining me now is TRT World reporter Mervyn Nasso. Mervyn, great to have you. Why is this film such a great hit? As for the answer to that question, you have to watch this movie. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. Look, you're all the fan. Look, you're here's the, the story. So it's set in historical India. It's a story of an, a poor orphan who finds out that he's actually a prince and that his father, the king, was deposed and murdered by his evil uncle. It's got elaborate sets, beautiful locations, a huge cast and very, very effective use of CGI. And all of that makes it, frankly, a classic summer blockbuster. But what really makes it endearing and believable for Indian audiences is its link to mythology. That's what makes all of these larger-than-life heroes and villains really believable. OK, well, I'm sold on it. I'm going to go off and see it. Um, let's, go, let's talk money now. Who is getting the lion's share? of the box office receipts? Is it the actors? Is it the distributors? Is it the production house? Who is it? So look, we've talked about, we've talked about how the actors, uh, the lead cast, made a lot of money from between four and one million to, uh, going to each of the lead uh, actors there. What's interesting about this movie is that generally in Bollywood, the, the, the way it works is once the movie is made based on how much it costs to make the movie, that's the ticket that distributors have to cough up in order to then go and sell this movie to the theaters. And typically, in the first three or four weeks, as you'll see in our graphic there, it's the distributors and the theater owners who make the lion's share of the money. What's interesting here is that this movie, both parts were actually made together, which means that this $70 million, most of it was charged up front at the, at the time that the first movie was released which is also why the distributors actually didn't end up recovering most of their money, and some of them went to court and tried to block the second part before it came out. The good oh. news, of course, is that the second part has already, in six days, made $84 million. That's above what it costs to make both parts. So clearly, mm. everyone's going to be making money on this one. How interesting. Uh, something to look forward to over the summer, not only in India, but perhaps for everyone else as well. Mobin Nasser, thank you so much.